Hey there, fellow summoners. No clue. Nine nine eight here, coming at you with a new video. And in today's video, it is week three of the Eternity of Pain, and the boss fight is Bishop, who can be a bit annoying. Uh, but as usual, I'm gonna record. Um, going through a few practice rounds, trying to figure out the nodes, the combination of everything, see what's best out there. I did see a couple of videos before I went in, and from all looks of it, basically, uh, you need to avoid his special two and bring in the champion like um, Eye Bomb, um, Immortal Hulk. I heard it was pretty good for this too. So, um, yeah, a champion like that that can really help you with this. Uh, so, Basically, um, for now, I'm just doing a couple of rounds, just trying to see what we can do. As you guys can see, I'm going to restart a few times to fight. Just um, trying to get a handle on it, as I usually done every week. Um, actually, you know what? I think I removed that. So this is actually my full run. Um, as you guys can see, I already have him down to about 19%. And quickly, you guys can realize I made a mistake and uh, pushed him to his special three, which Kate uh, knocked me out. So I decided, uh, you know what, let's revive, let's go into it, and let's start bringing him down. He's already at 81%. But unfortunately, as usual, you know, you guys, if you've seen my videos, it does take me a good amount of revives and potions to get through these fights. It is called Eternity of Pain for some reason, and it can be very painful, especially for your resources. As you guys are going to see, it's going to take a lot of revives for me to get him all the way down to 0%. But, as you know, as it is what it is. You got to get through it. You guys know I'll be the first to say I'm not the best uh, fighter in the game. I am very impatient at times, as you guys saw right there. I could easily uh, wait for him to go through that heavy and then go in. But, no, I try to beat it, trying to be aggressive. And for me, you know, the hardest thing, and you're going to see it a lot, is that incinerate is just going to K me a lot. Uh, not so much getting hit by Bishop. It's just mostly that incineration that I keep on getting. All right, as usual, we'll go in. And, you know, I try to bring down at least a certain amount, hoping to, uh, you know, not avoid using revives. And, of course, I made the mistake of going in, as I usually do when I'm aggressive, and got hit with that special two, which is the main thing I noticed um, in my fights here uh, when I was able to evade Dex, that special two. I was able to go in and, you know, give him uh make him take more damage uh he's already at 70 percent already used a couple of revives so let's keep on working through it trying to get him all the way down now i'm just trying to bait out make sure he doesn't get to that special three which of course he does and um, now i'm just trying to hit him with as much damage as possible and here comes the special three, which I believe did K uh, knock me out again. There we go. All right. Like I said, I'm very impatient. Got to learn to be more patient with these fights. Um, when I am patient, I, I tend to do a lot better, obviously. But um, it's not my habit, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to playing the game. So um, here we go. Another round against Bishop. He is already at 67%, which is not too bad. And as usual, another knockout from him. So, um... 
yep, going in for another revive. And at this point, I am trying to figure out the um, the incinerate. I just feel like I'm taking too much. I'm trying to figure out that meltdown timer, but it is what it is. Just trying to get through it now. And I think after this one, you could tell probably that I'm getting just a little frustrated with it, but usually I take I will take my advice and just walk away and come back in a little while and play better because when you're frustrated with the uh, fight, you do not do as good. But um, I just wanted to power through it. I don't know why, but I guess I'm enjoying the side quest this month. Um, just excited to get as many max points, star ores, so that way I can use it in the store. So I, I've been very busy. Actually, I already 100% all five chapters there, so just wanted to finish doing this also. All right, I think we're up to what, revive number six here? And just little by little, I'm just trying to bring them down. Just still going over these buffs, just trying to figure out exactly what to do. Mostly for me, it was just that incinerate. The good thing is that I've been able to grind to get plenty of revives so I wasn't too much worried about the amount of revives I had I just did not you know it's not never fun to use um, a whole bunch of them I think overall I ended up using about I think I'm up to seven now so I think I might have ended up using about ten minimum which is a lot you know, a lot of a lot of my lines may say use like maybe five, four. Uh, for some reason, I ended up using um, more than that. I just have to figure out how to fight him a little more better, especially if he gets chosen for the last um, for the last week. Yeah, by this point, I'm already getting frustrated a bit. But um, like I said, I should have taken a small break and then come back and finish it. But I was like, let me just power through. I knew I was getting frustrated, but I was like, you know what? Just, just, let's just do it. Try to figure out this uh, incinerate timer thing going on. And, you know, he's under 50% at this point. So we're getting there. Like I said, the key to this fight is that special two. If you're able to evade it, dex it, then you're able to punish him a bit more before, you know, needing to use, like, another revive or something. All right, that one was actually a, a decent decent round. So here comes another revive. It's 
think we're up to like eight now and we still got 41 percent to go just got to get that timing down for that special too I did get lucky with, with his special ones when he threw them. Uh, more often than not, they were um, blockable because I noticed with some videos that I saw from other people that were doing it, the special one, uh, more often than not, was unblockable. So that's why you try to push them to a special two and then try to evade that special two. As you guys see in the video, I got pretty lucky that more often than not, for me, at least, it was um, blockable. Uh, you still took a good amount of damage, but um, at least not as much as if it was unblockable. Right there, once again, I missed time that evade. It always feels like you you have it timed, but for some reason there's always a little slight delay, and and and, and you're off its timing. But if you feel like you you hold a little too long, then you feel like you. There you go. I thought I had it timed perfectly, and I was just too early. And then if you hold a little bit longer, you think you're too late. So that that special two is very um very tricky, but once you get it down pack um. Like I said, you can do a lot of damage. But we're getting there. Um, he is at 22%. So we're getting there little by little. So many times that I get clipped by that special. I'm really going to need to practice just in case in the final week he's one of the uh, champions that, that you're going to have to go through. So we're under 20%. We're almost at Assassin's Range, which will give you a boost of um, attack. Here we go. We're in Assassin's Range. And like I said, once again, got lucky with that special one. was not unblockable. Not too bad of a run there. We're down to 14%. All right, guys, just uh, just want to say thanks if you guys are still watching up to this point. We have them down to 10%, so we are almost done here. And, of course, <laughs> he knocks me out once again. So we're going to need another revive. I think we're, like, up to 12 now, so um, you know I'm going to be farming some revives for next week. But... Let me uh, take the opportunity now just to um, say that if you guys like what you're seeing, please press that like button, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video. All right, guys, we're down to 8%. We are getting there for week three, Trinity of Pain versus Bishop. All right, here we go. We're down to 2%. 1% now. There we go, guys. With 2% left, finally I'm able to bring him down. And, of course, actually, that was the best run that I had. Other than the first one where I brought him down that 19% all the way down to 81. This one was actually uh, a pretty good run. All right, so we get those two points there plus the one point for finishing it as a Paragon player. So at this point, I have 11 points, and of course, I have one more run 
with an X-Men, I actually used um, Archangel for the X-Men run. It was actually a lot better um, after having so many revives on this one and plenty of practice. I was able to do it with uh, only four revives on that one to get myself that fourth point for the week. So I am officially at 12 points. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.